Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to create bobble stitches. And we're doing it using the super bulky yarn so that it's really easy to see. Alright, for this bobble stitch we're working with a swatch of single crochet. We work the bobble stitch in double crochet because that makes it really pop. So. What we're going to do is work one stitch. I've already chained one, so there's my first single crochet. Here's my second. I'm just going to switch to my new color, and I'm going to do that by completing this stitch with the new color. If you need help on color changes, I do have a video for that. So there I've got my new yarn attached, and I'm just going to pull on the blue yarn so the tension is correct. And then I'm going to hold these tails as I work this bobble stitch into the following stitch. So to do that, what we're going to do is work five double crochet, but we're not going to complete them. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. So there's our second incomplete double crochet, and we're going to make five of these. And you can see, so we have two, but there are three on the hook. So when we have five, there will be six on the hook. So let's keep going. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. There's three. Here's four. Let's do one more. And there's our fifth incomplete double crochet. And you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, and six loops remaining on the hook. Now to complete this bobble stitch, what we're going to do is yarn over and pull through all six of those loops, and then we are going to chain one. Because we worked this on the wrong side of the fabric, the bobble is going to naturally want to go towards the right side of the fabric. But before we can create another one, what we need to do is put another single crochet down into the stitch following where the bobble was. So what I'm going to do is just single crochet. I'm going to switch back to the light blue color, just like so. And then you can tighten that up, as you can see, just by pulling on what will be the working end of the darker color or of the contrast color. Okay, so let's get that tail out of the way and then you can see, now I'll just work another couple single crochet stitches until I'm ready to do another bobble. And you can see that I'm just carrying the yarn. You don't have to do that, you can attach it at every single bobble, that's also fine whatever your preference is, and especially it depends on the yarn, right? If you're working with like white and red, you definitely need to just cut it every time. Okay, so now I'm going to, in the next stitch, I'll put a bobble. So I'm going to complete this stitch, the one right prior to it, with a different color. Again, you can pull on the working yarn of the light blue to sort of neaten that up a bit. I'm going to hold it, the light blue working yarn, just against the top of the stitches so it's hidden. And then I'm going to work five incomplete double crochet stitches, all in the same stitch space. Okay, so there are six loops on my hook. I've just worked five incomplete double crochet stitches. I'm going to yarn over, pull through all six, 
chain one and that helps to just keep it closed and neat and then we're going to go into the next stitch space and switch back to our light blue color All right guys, so now I just wanna talk about what we're going to do when we come back this way and work more single crochet. This is a swatch of 11 stitches. So when I come back this way, I need to make sure that I put 11 stitches. So let's just take a close look here at sort of what the anatomy of this is. You can see that because we chained one with the bobble, there's going to be an extra space where you're going to get confused and probably wanna put a stitch or you might end up accidentally skipping one. So let's just count and let me show you exactly how we're going to get back to our original amount of 11. So we've got one and two here, right? That's pretty obvious. So then what we're going to do is three, four, okay? five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So what did I do here? I skipped this really long stitch. And by skipping that one, you're not only putting it back to the correct amount. Let me show you what I mean by long stitch. Get that out of the way. Okay, so see, here's the really long one, this one, this one. So by skipping that one, I'm also making it tighter which is making it more of a bobble. I mean, that is like an extremely dramatic bobble effect with this yarn, okay? So let me actually show you by crocheting it. So I'm going to chain one, looks like, oops. Okay, so let me show you by actually crocheting it. I'm going to chain one, turn, then we're going to put one single crochet, one single crochet in the next. Now we've come to our bobble. This is a stitch. So we are putting one stitch right here, one single crochet, and then here's the bobble. We've got that really long one, and then we've got this guy here at the very top. And so it's sometimes tight, but you want to go into that one. And then we're going to come all the way over here. We're skipping the last of the contrast one. And we're coming into the next single crochet stitch space and we are going to make a pretty tight single crochet. You don't wanna do it too tight because of course that will warp the fabric, but you wanna do it tight enough to where it looks even at the top, right? Just like so. Okay, so now let's look again. So now let's look again as we go back. <clears throat> Right, here's our next bobble. So again, this one is a space. That's just a regular old single crochet there. It's just in the contrast color still. And then right here, we're going to go into that one. Single crochet. We're skipping the long contrast and we're going into the next single crochet but we're going to do it again just a little bit tighter than normal okay and there's our last single crochet so now let's count we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven perfect so i do want to show you the back Right? We always look at the front with stuff and I want to show you just what to expect when you're making bobble stitches if you cut the yarn every time to get this really neat effect where you don't see the yarn in between, you end up with something like this. Okay, so it's a lot of ends to weave in, but it's worth it for sure to take the time and the effort to go through and get that really beautiful, neat look. And it really depends on what you're making and you know the colors involved if you're working with colors that are more similar and less contrasting you'll be able to carry it through the other stitches okay guys thanks for watching if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe